What's going on guys, Real Talk Gmail here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today we are going to be continuing our particle system series. So basically in the last one what we did is we just went ahead and created effects that were already pre-made with Game Maker. But today we're going to be creating our own effects. So basically what you need is you need to create a particle system and on that you need to create different parts of the particle system. So what we actually see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say particle equals part system create. And basically what we're doing is we are binding this particle to a part of particles. Okay, so this is basically a particle system. So when we refer to our particle system, we're going to say particle. So we're basically saying this is a new particle system, that variable there. And basically what we do here is Within particles, we need a part, like I said. So I'm going to say part one equals part type create. And this is going to create a new part of our particle system. And we say this because we need to refer to the index on what we're actually using. So we can have several different particle systems. So like this here, we could have particle, and then we could have particle two, particle three. So we can have a bunch of different particle systems, and we need to put them in variables so we know which one we're talking about. Same with parts here. So now that we've created the part of our particle system, we need to give it attributes and all that stuff. So basically we can say part type shape and we can give our particle a shape. So I'm gonna say part one as the index because again, we're, we're referring to this part. And for the shape, there's a bunch of different shapes out there. I'll put them in the description, but a basic one, I'll just say PT shape pixel. And this is going to create a basic particle uh, uh, pixel shape to our particle. So again, part is what we actually visually see here. <clears throat> okay, and this is pretty cool. And you know, we can create different shapes. So instead of like pixel, we could say something like sphere or you know all that stuff and that's pretty cool we can we can create some cool stuff with that but to customize it even more we can actually give our particles their own index or I'm sorry their own sprite I don't know why I said index so I went ahead and created a quick you know just quick three boxes red blue and green and this is going to be our particle system sprite there are our particle sprite and instead of part type shape if, we, if I comment that out we can say part type sprite and the index will say part one and our sprite is going to be s particle and our animation so this basically means do we want to animate uh, our our particle at all and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yeah sure so I'll say true and stretch means do you want to stretch this animation out between the entire uh, like its full life the particles full life and I'm gonna say false and random means do we want the particle to start out at a random index so as you can see we have three images here if we wanted it to always start at the image one and cycle through all the way to the end we could say false but if we wanted to start at a random image here we could say true so I'm gonna say true just to kind of show you and before we get into any of the other properties I'm just going to say part particles create and this is going to create the particle system. So index, we're actually going to say particle here. I'll just copy and paste that. Uh, then we're going to say x, y. Our part type is going to be part one, and our number is going to be ten. And this is how many actually spawn. So if we run it now, as you can see, whoa, we have a uh, we have our image here, and it's kind of flashing all these different colors. I mean, and this is not really a particle. I mean, we can actually do this in an object pretty easily. But in order to make, here, let me just show the um, randomness of it. So if we set false, as you can see, it would just be red, or blue, I'm sorry. And this means that it does not start out at a random uh, image or index there. It just starts off, it always starts off at the same one. Okay, so we'll say, tr we'll say true again, just so we can see that. But but again, this this kind of flashing box isn't really that cool, I mean, I guess kind of is, but not really because we can easily do this and we don't really need a particle system for this. So let's add some more attributes to it. First off, let's make it, let's make the particle grow. So I'm gonna say part 
type size, I'll give it the index, part one. And the minimum size, I'll say zero. The maximum, I'll say one. And the size increase, I'll say 0 0.1. And then the wiggle, we'll just say one. And I'll demonstrate what that kind of does in there. But now if we play it, as you can see, whoa, now our particle is actually growing in size. And that is pretty awesome. Now if we set the wiggle to 10, we'll say, you'll notice that they stretch out a lot more. The particles stretch out a lot more. Yeah, right there. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm I'm gonna not put size on there. Oh, I actually yeah I am. Here, I'll, I'll just put one. And then and then here the size increase if you set it to one or something, as you can, it it'll grow a lot bigger. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna say zero point. Nah, no, I'll just say zero point one. And yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. Now let's let's add some life to it. So part type life, part one. Now we're gonna do the minimum life and the maximum life. So it's kind of kind of some of it's gonna dissolve, some of it's gonna last longer than others. So the the default values for each is 100. So I'm gonna say 50 for minimum, 200 for maximum. And if we played it now, and you can see, you kind of wouldn't really. I mean, I mean, you can notice some some difference here, but but not really. So let's let's add some gravity to it now. So I'm gonna say part type gravity, part one, and gravity amount I'll say 0 0.5, and the direction is 270, and 270 is down in Game Maker. So now if we, whoa, check that out. That is pretty cool. Now it actually has gravity, and uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. <clears throat> um, let's in the create event. Let's just set h speed t equal one, and we'll put it all the way to the right or to the left. I'm sorry. And now and now it'll kind of it'll kind of move across the screen there, which is pretty cool. Let's actually set set the stretch to true, and and particle system is a lot of just playing around with playing around with everything. That you see, so so check that out. That is pretty awesome. So now let's say we wanted to we wanted to have them in a random direction. So we could just say floor random three sixty. <coughs> um, wait, why why do we get an error here? Oh, sorry. Okay. So let's try that. And whoa. Okay, now we get the particles all over the place, just flying all over the place, 360 degrees. So this actually looks a little bit better than just your normal, or maybe not, but um, you can do a lot with this. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Next time we are, uh, next part we are going to continue on making some better effects with this other than just i mean this is cool but we're going to start with the pixel shapes and all of that so go leave a like go and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace